This time on Adventure Holics, we touch down on another planet. We find shelter in our new humble abode, and we go inside a volcano. Look at this Excel spreadsheet. What are you doing right now? Well, I'm just downloading the spreadsheet for our planning. I'm a big planner, as you can see. Iceland really pays off uh, to do your planning because there's a lot of information on there. So we've planned every day and pretty much have put in the major sites we want to see. And we've kind of made a timeline. I've mapped it out uh, and it's pretty precise how many kilometers we'll do a day and so on. So I'm downloading it to Google Drive so we can read it off of our phones later on. After we landed in Kefelvik Airport, we got a shuttle bus ride to the Happy Camper HQ, where we would be picking up our new mobile home for the trip. The man at the front desk checked us in, show us around the van, and just like that, we're on our way to Reykjavik. Before we hit the town center, we decided to stop at a supermarket to get provisions for our trip and to seek out some of the local delicacies Iceland has to offer. Fish jerky, locally known as Hartfiskur, was high on our list. Fermented shark, not so much, but we still had to try it. 
Obviously, we couldn't go camping without beer, so we tried the local light beer, which is low on alcohol content due to the rules of the state-controlled alcohol monopoly. And finally, we bought a whole lot of scary yogurt, as it reminded us of the Bulgarian yogurt we have back home. After we were done with our shopping, we headed into town to check out some of the major sites before going over to Loki Cafe for dinner. This awesome and quirky mural decorating the walls of Loki Cafe was our first reminder of how great the forces of nature are in Iceland, something we would witness for ourselves in the days ahead. However, we'll leave that for another time as it was time for dinner. We ordered three separate dishes to sample the local cuisine and we ended up liking the herring platter the best. So how was that? Good herring? Better than in Amsterdam? How is it? It's even better than the first one. <laughs> Pretty tiny, a lot smaller than what we had imagined. No, I knew it was small. Uh, I knew it was small, but I didn't know it was that small. And we're trying to manage here. And also, uh, overnight, the batteries are not charging um, as the car is not on, or yeah. So our phones have pretty much died. So we're trying to charge the phones now, trying to wake up and go for some crazy adventures today. So what are we having for breakfast? Organic granola with honey and hazelnut. No sugar. And we're having some skip, which is the Icelandic yogurt that is made with Icelandic cultures. It's really good. Yogurt and this is like Bulgarian yogurt. It's very similar to Bulgarian yogurt in taste, but it's richer and more more dense, I guess. It's more texture. After making an early start, we're finally heading out for our first adventure in Iceland. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
There's Anton. Anton, say hi. <laughs> So that's where we came down in. And the guys now got down to uh, get us. So we have maybe another couple of minutes and then we go back up to the surface with this lift. It was awesome. Too short of a time in here, but just breathtaking. Only volcano you can go into the chamber in the world. Super amazing. Definitely a recommended place to come if you're coming to Iceland. Obviously the Icelandic people know what kind of car to drive. Lada Niva right here. That's what you need for the snow. Love Lada. We're gonna do some adventures with Lada. Check out Barbie on the front windscreen. Check it out! It's the best thing! There's a mermaid Barbie there! This right here, I have been very excited about ever since I read about it. It's an Icelandic hot dog. Don't know what's special about an Icelandic hot dog, but they have their own type of hot dog. This one right here is with lamb, and this one with langoustine. So I'm gonna give it a, a try now. It's really nice, it's like a really nice tender lamb meat in there and there's like crispy bits up here of like uh, crumbles of fried, uh, I don't know, batter I suppose. And let's try the langoustine. Oh my god. I've got to make my impression of Mark Beans. I mean, it's amazing. It has this sweet sauce. It's a fried langoustine in a bun. And again, with similar toppings on top. It's really, really nice. These Icelandic hot dogs have not disappointed. I'm off to eat the rest of this hot dog without doing a video. See you later, guys. After the hot dog, we decided to taste fin whale and puffin meat. Really good. It doesn't taste like anything else we've tried before. Meaty. It's nice. So you like both of them? Yeah, I like both of them. Yeah. So 
the fin whale, was it similar to the whale we had in Norway or was it a different? No, it's more tender. The whale we had in Norway was um, like a stick. And this one is tender and it's really soft. And the puffin? Do you can't identify to any other taste or what? No, not really. No. It's like a fish with a little bit of meat. Yeah. And the puffin is really soft. Thank you for watching our very first travel video. We apologize for the audio issues you might have noticed throughout the recording. We are still learning the ropes and hope to improve quickly. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Links to all the places we visited in this video as well as our social media profiles are linked down below in the description. Again, thanks for watching and see you next week.